Assalamu alaikum students welcome to general microbiology lecture series this lecture focuses on the study of bacterial flagella pili and fimbri moreover some important questions related to this topic are given at the end of this lecture so first start with the flagella what are the flagella these are hair like structures and helical in form flagella arise from cytoplasmic membrane through cell wall and play role in movement or motility of a bacterium so based on presence or absence of flagella bacteria are classified as motile and non motile a structure of a bacterial flagellum a bacterial flagellum consists of three parts such as basal body hook and a filament so if we talk about the basal body it is a rotatory motor of a flagellum and it is a protein structure consist of a small central rod surrounded by a different types of rings these rings are such as l ring which is also called as lipopolysaccharide ring so if we look at the structure of l ring it is attached with the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria now an other ring that's p ring p ring is also called as peptidoglycan ring is it is attached to peptidoglycan layer s ring a string is also called as surface or basal ring and it is in static nature m ring m ring are also called as c ring it is membrane or cytoplasmic membrane ring this ring provides the movement to flagellum now if we talk about the hook it is a short highly curved tubular structure which connects the basal body or flagellar motor with a filament means it is the hook which connects the basal body or motor with the filament structure what is filament it is a thin hair like structure arises from hook and particularly composed of a protein called as flagellin protein arrangement of flagella based on arrangement of flagellum bacterial species are divided into four major groups such as monotrichous those bacteria having only single flagellum are called as monotrichous An example of monotrichous bacterium is Vibrio cholerae. Amphitrichous. Amphitrichous shows a top of flagella at both ends are poles, and even a single flagellum also shows a single flagellum at both poles. An example of amphitrichous bacteria are alkaligen. Faecalis, Nitrosomonas species, and also Campylobacter jejuni. Lophotrichus, Lophotrichus shows a top of flagella at only single pole or one end. An example of Lophotrichus bacterium is Helicobacter pylori, also called as H. pylori. peritrichous flagella flagella distributed all over the body is called as peritrichous and the best example of the peritrichous is the e coli and also bacillus subtilis bacterium periplasmic flagella periplasmic flagella these are the specialized form of the flagella and also called as axial filament This type of the flagella provides cork screw like motility 
and found in helical form bacteria such as spirochetes okay so now let's we discussed an other structure of the bacteria that are called as pili and singular form that is the pilus so what are the pili pili are thinner shorter non helical and filamentous structures and they are made up of protein pilin pili are 0.3 to 1 micrometer in length and about 7 nanometer in diameter so if we just compare pili with the pilagella then we can easily differentiate pilagella are helical in structure and they help in motility or movement but here if we see pili are non helical in form and they don't play any role in movement these pili are classified into two major groups such as f pili and an other form is the common pili so what are f pili f pili are the forms of the pili which are involved in sexual reproduction of bacteria such as conjugation f pili form a conjugation tube between two bacterial cells and transfer the genetic material particularly plasmids which are also called as extra chromosomal dna molecules from one bacterium to an other bacterium so what is conjugation conjugation is a process of genetic recombination in which the genetic material is transferred from one cell to an other cell through a direct contact by a conjugation tube or we can say conjugation bridge means through pili so conjugation process occurs in plated bacteria which contains plasmids we will discuss in detail about the conjugation in coming lectures however here just a brief overview about this process to understand f pili so if we look at this figure this bacterium is characterized with the specific plasmids which are called as f plasmids besides its chromosomal dna means the plasmids these are the extra chromosomal dna molecules so this bacterium is ready to share or transfer a copy of its plasmid through pili in this way this bacterium will be called as a donor cell f plus or even we can say a male cell while the receiving bacterium which will be called as a recipient or f minus or even it will be called as a female cell here this bacterium has its own chromosomal dna but don't contain the plasmids because these plasmids may help in other functions so in this way this recipient will receive the plasmid from an other bacteria with help of the pili and the process will be called as a conjugation so in this way you can see here the formation of a conjugation tube and through this conjugation tube this plasmid will be easily transferred to another bacterium now if you look at this figure finally a copy of plasmid has been transferred now this bacterium will also be called as a donor cell because this bacterium has now plasmids and this bacteria can also transfer or share this plasmid to an other bacteria in this way both now a bacterial cells will be called as a donor cells or f plus cell now common pili common pili they help in attachment of bacteria with respiratory 
and gastrointestinal tract miss the major work of the common ply it helping in attachment of the bacteria and this attachment of ply prevents bacteria from being washed away by the flow of mucus or other body fluids and easily can start the infection these ply also act as receptor sites for the attachment of viruses which attack on these bacteria such as bacteriophage and also enhance the growth when oxygen supply is limited fimbri or fimbriae these are also some structures found in bacterial cell so these fimbri are very shorter and more numerous than ply mostly ply are found one or more than one however fimbri are few to several hundreds and this type of these structures help in adherence of bacteria to surfaces and body tissues mostly the functions of the fimbri they are similar like as common ply so this type of the structures also help in protection of bacteria against other microorganisms or small animals now questions why some bacteria are motile while others are non motile what is the name of a protein found in flagella how would you define the term conjugation which type of ply act as receptor sites for the attachment of viruses what do you mean by f ply what is axial filament what is difference between lophotrichus and amphitrichus bacteria give any name of a peritrichus bacterium which component of a flagellum is composed of several types of rings